Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of our Pokemon Moon Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we did the first title defense. Now, I've got no idea who we're going to go ahead and face in today's title defense. I'm pretty sure it's randomized, um, whoever, but I think the first person that you battle has to be how, and then whoever turns up next... Um, is basically just like whole randomized, but let me know right if I can save it Every time just before I go up these stairs to face the next person if I save it and do it again Will it be randomized to a different person or do I literally have to beat the elite four every single time because I don't mind doing it But I, I feel like it's so I, I don't know. I don't know the right word to save for it. It's just like unnecessary I don't feel like you know, they should, I shouldn't have to beat the Elite Four every single time I play through it. But it's Hapu this time is the one to turn up. So I guess I can test it after the recording. Uh, or possibly like that. I could like turn it off and back on just to basically see who it is. Uh, however, defeating the champion will surely be an even more challenging. So it looks like we're going to go ahead and take on Hapu for the second title defense. Now, um, I know, like I said, there's like Guzma and people and stuff like that to take on as well. So we could do that, which I think I might as well do. I, you know, I just want to do as much as I can in the Pokemon Sun and Moon, like, because I know there's the battle tree and stuff like that, uh, but I, I really don't want to do the battle tree, if I'm going to be honest with you. I don't mind doing red and blue, I just, I, I don't see there's no point to me doing the battle, um, the league and stuff like that. So, Void, I forgot to heal Void back up. <laughs> he was the one to take on, um, Acelro. Um, okay, so Grottle is out front. Um, I'm going to go into Puffy. I do need to heal Void up though, definitely need to heal that guy up. Uh, so let's send out Puffy first though. As Grottle drops the Leaf Stone, but we avoid it like a boss. That's insane. Um, I don't think I need to Quiver Dance up, do I? No, I can just go straight up for the Bug Buzz, see how much damage this will pull off. Absolutely insane amount of damage. Puffy, I love Puffy so much, I'm so happy, but I think he's stupidly broken because this thing's like level 79 already. <laughs> it's insane. I just got a Tranquil next. Um. It's gonna have to be Dragon. Literally, there's nothing else on my team that eh, that wants to take any flying type moves. So we're going to Dragon, and she sends out a Tranquil. All right, dope, dope, dope. I can remember when Ash had Tranquil, and literally that thing was it Tranquil. Is Tranquil? I don't know if Tranquil's no, it's Unpheasant in it, the last one. I remember when Ash had an Unpheasant in his uh, in the anime, and that thing literally did nothing. It literally did nothing. Goes for the sky attack again. Just like Ho Ho, bro. But it's all good because now I know I can actually attack you. So that's good. I can do that now. I can just take your life, destroy you, bro. That's insane. So Tranquil goes down, which is absolutely fine. We're actually doing this relatively fast, which is something I don't want to do. I want to kind of, you know, um, a Flareon. Okay. Um, again, I really don't have anyone else to take this thing on. I really need a water type on my team, but. I've used up all my encounters, so there's no possible way. I mean, I guess I could go to the people that give me Pokemon and try one of those, which I think I might do, because I do definitely need a water type on my team. But Dragon Claw is just absolutely tearing through this Flareon. Absolutely just gone. And you have a Haunter. Um, I guess Void can come out. I mean, you could just Dark Pulse. I did also learn the Ice Beam to take care of the Flying Person. Um, I guess Dark Pulse. Ah, should I have healed up? Hopefully this Dark Pulse will kill it in one. Ah, which it does good. I was scared then because I didn't know, um, if it was going to be enough. And I know that Void was on low HP and I didn't want that thing. And you have a Mew! Oh, yo, Mew fits Hapu so nice there. Okay, so... Um, before we do this, I kind of want to full, full restore because if I go for Dark Pulse and it doesn't kill this thing, I'm going to be upset. And then I could potentially elude Void. So I'll heal up. Oh, you've got a Rora Sphere. What the hell, Mew? Why? Ah, that really doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, and if I'm actually, to be fair, I could just Dark Void this thing. So let's do that. Oh, you avoid the Dark Void. What the hell? This is why you're allowed back into um, OU, bro. Because of the Dark Void, how it's been reduced. So we'll get you back up. And she keeps just going for the Aurora Sphere, which is getting really annoying. If this thing crits me, then I'm gone. That's why I need the Dark Void to hit. Oh, you avoided again? What the hell? 
I genuinely don't understand my luck, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not even gonna bother to go for the dark void next. Cause that is that's two dark um I mean dark pulses I could have got off on this thing, so. Oh my lord. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for the dark pulse, I don't really have the time. If I would have gone for dark void then it probably would have still have missed. Oh my lord, I could have been one dark pulse! And it just destroyed that Mew! What the hell? That's so broken. So we defeat uh, Kahuna Hapu, which is absolutely dope there. Um, I think what I might as well do is go ahead and try to do another title defense. It's just going through all the Elite Four and stuff like that that really bothers me. Because it takes forever, but I think what I could do uh, just for this episode is go around and find the people that give you Pokemon. I think I'd be better off with that. Hey, you defended your title. Pretty easy to be fair though. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump on... Do we need to jump on Charizard? I'm, let me, I'm trying to find out which people give you actually Pokemon in this Let's Play, because then if I can just narrow it down... Uh, Sun and Moon gift Pokemon. Hopefully this will uh, narrow it down to where... Um, we can get an Eevee, a level 1 Eevee from the nursery. We could go to the, uh, let's have the foundation of the 4. When you go to the 8th house, you'll find an employee in the back who will give you as a Porygon. Um, somebody will give us an Aerodactyl as well, which is dope. Um, the Porygon's gonna be level 30 though, and the Aerodactyl's level 40. Um, I mean, I guess so in the 8th house. This isn't really far to where I am, is it? It's just around here. That's the wrong place! Why did I do that? That's the totally wrong place. <sighs> Didn't know why I did that, but hey. Alright, let's jump back on. So I'm pretty sure the 8th house is this way, isn't it? Is it? There it is! I knew it was around here somewhere. I know it was at the bottom of Mount Lanakili. So let's jump on that, we'll go ahead and pick up the Porygon uh, from the person in the Aether house. I wonder what Pokemon this could be, hopefully it'll be randomised. So let's make his way over to the Aether house, there's still like a lot of Pokemon, um, uh, Pokemon battles, sorry, like, I know there's Guzma um, we can battle as well, so I think I might do that. If Guzma will be randomised or not, I can't answer that, but hey, we could give it a try. You know what this randomise is like. Uh, wait, when you, when you was just in the Elite Four, what the hell? Ah, here you are. I know you, thanks for your efforts, the shadow that hung over the Foundation has been lifted, that's what I've heard. I would like to introduce you a very po uh, precious Pokemon, as both an apology as to show gratitude on behalf of the Foundation. We received a Porygon. Hey, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm hoping it's a water type. It's a Puchiena. Well, God, this thing's scrappy. It reminds me of Scrappy-Doo, bro. Scrappy has now been added to my party. So, there's that thing, and then there's also, um... What is it? There's the Eevee we can go ahead and pick up. Oh, you'll be given an egg. Ah, that means we have to uh, hatch the egg, which I can't really be bothered to do. And uh, we can fly to uh, Seafolk Village, I guess, and we'll have a look. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay, let's fly to Seafolk Village. And then we can pick up... Um, then we can pick up the Aerodactyl. And then... Like, it's like I said, I, I want to do the red and blue thing, because I think the red and blue battle to end it all off would be really good. But I don't know if I want to do the title defense as an ending episode. So, I think I might do the red and blue thing, I'm not too sure. Oh wait, what the hell am I going here? Um, who gives me this? Um, when you get to see folk, talk to the ace trainer in the Huntail boat. Are you the Huntail? What the hell is that? that is that Huntail? I really don't know if that's Huntail. I know that one's Wailord, that one's Wishcash. This one here is... Ah, this is Huntail. There we go. So let's speak to this person. They're supposedly going to give us a Aerodactyl. You? Oh, why did I click the Pelipper? 
Hey. So we're gonna have a Dactyl. I wonder what this guy's gonna be. Please be a water type so I can have it on my team. I need a water type. Oh, a Pangoro. Jesus. That's not too bad. Pangoro is not too bad, to be fair. I don't even know what to call this thing. It's a girl as well, so... Um... I don't know. I guess Oprah. Because <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, we'll send Oprah to a box. So like I said, we've got the title defenses and stuff like that. Um, I could fly to Guzma, and I think I'll take Guzma on. Just so it's not like a short episode, because I don't like doing short episodes. So let's go ahead and fly back. Um, I'm pretty sure Guzma is on the beach. So if we fly to here, we should be able to make our way down to Guzma and battle him. Let's see what kind of Pokemon he's rocking. I'm hoping he's randomized. I really hope he is. I know previous times I battled Guzma, he's probably only been randomized once. And I right don't know why. So let's make our way down towards the beach. Oh, just think, I could have had the red orb if I had my primal ground on now. Oh, so depressing. I can't believe I lost that guy to an Ivysaur as well. Out of all the Pokemon, had to lose it to an Ivysaur. So Guzma should be here. Okay, you're not here, Guzma. I don't know what that's about. Maybe because the UB mission... Um, supposedly didn't get done. I don't know why, because I recorded it all, but then I think what I did is because I recorded it all in one, I didn't save, and that is probably why he's not here. We have to do probably the Ultra Beast missions and stuff like that for him, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so I don't know who else we could take on then. Um, no, I don't want to fly. I guess there's Lilma. I think we can go to his house and battle him. Let me go to Matoros. If I can remember where Lilma lives, I think it's up here to the left, isn't it? I'm pretty sure Lilma lives in here. In this huge ass, huge ass posh house. Oh. Hello there. Ah, my son is. Okay. Just want, I'd like to hear what you think of my boy. Is he doing as good job as a captain? He's a good captain. <laughs> He's doing fine, man. You don't have to worry. So, what up, Luma? Where you at, boy? Are you in this one? Ah, you are. Yo, look up setup goals, though. Look at that setup goals. What the hell? Why can't my bedroom be like that? I wish my bedroom was set up like that. You know, this man has a- he has two bookcases full of books in his bedroom. Who does that? Oh wow, we're at the trainer's school. Okay then. Now give me everything you got, Jello. Well, we shall try, my dude. I don't know what kind of Pokemon you've got. You probably won't be randomized, but hey, that's just my look at this randomizer. So, Captain Elmer, no, you have two Pokemon. Wow, that's great. And it's Gumshoes. Um, this is probably because I didn't battle him before. I bet that it, that's what it is. And you're gonna be low. Oh, you're level 50. <laughs> I'm sorry, little man. You're gonna about to get bopped. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might need to battle him again after this. And you should have a Smeagol, yes. So let me carefully just take care of this Smeargle. Oh wow. He actually went for quick attack. That's great. That is absolutely great. So we'll take care of him. And I guess, do we battle him again? <laughs> Bro, I had a level 69 Darkrai. What do you expect what to happen? Oh. Ooh, treat me to some snacks. We about... Ooh boy. Hey. We get an Everstone from the guy. Thank you very much. 
May our friend. Oh, he said, "May our friendship last as long as an Ebby Stone." Oh, that's cute. Look at this boy's setup, though. Those have to be manga books, don't they? They definitely have to be manga books. Oh, it doesn't look like we rebattle him again. Ah, oh, that's sad. But I think, yeah, for next episode, um, I'll try fit in two. Um, you guys will have to let me know, um, basically, will I be able to do, you know, just save and then rebattle, or do I have to keep battling through the Elite Four every time? If so, I guess it's just going to be a thing that's just going to take forever for me to do, but hey, it's whatever, guys. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode of our Pokemon Moon Extreme Randomizer and luck here. If you guys did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up. It is always super greatly appreciated. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos to come for that. My name is Bean Fanatech. You guys have been amazing as always, and I will see you all back in the next one. Bye!